I remember at the age of 16 uh, being chased by a, a, a van or this police here, Ahmad's uh, car, uh, wearing uniform because we were protesting against uh, Africans as a medium of instruction. And this Ahmad car was really coming at me. I walked fast, it drove fast. I walked slow, it drove fast. And then I ran away and I hid myself under uh, the uh, a, a car where the mechanic was fixing it uh, on that particular street. And I said to him, they want to kill me. And then he came out and they said to him, where's the terrorist? And the mechanic came. I won't repeat uh, what he said. I mean, he was very crude, but he said, you guys are looking for a terrorist uh, from a young schoolboy. There are terrorists out there. Why don't you get a terrorist? And I prayed there and said, Lord, I mean, your hand, because I mean, they could have just clobbered the mechanic and me, and then uh, they left. And it was during when a number of my colleagues were killed in 1976. So, I mean, I, I felt it at that personal level that indeed, uh, I felt his rule, I felt his hand. And generally in South Africa, uh, we prayed, uh, we lamented, we cried, and we saw uh, democracy come not too much blood because we thought now we're going to fight for our liberation but the churches the mosques the shoes and others came together and, and we prayed and as christians we're in the forefront saying lord let thy kingdom come and there we are